Now, let's take a look at the varying grades of king in a bit more details. By far, the most common type of chieftain was a leader of a simple tua, simply referred to as a re or a re tua. While it was not always the case, more often than not these chieftains of petty kingdoms would in turn owe allegiances to other chieftains, or he might owe tribute to another king of a higher grade, such as the re tua more, the king of a big tua. This was where a number of smaller tuas came under the rule of one powerful chief, and he becomes the king of a confederacy, an over-king of the chieftains of the submitting tuaha. And in turn, whether he is just a re or a re to a more, they too would find themselves in tribute to a king of the next highest grade, which usually meant a king of one of the five provinces of Ulster, Munster, Connacht, Leinster and Meath. At the time when this was the case, the five provincial kingdoms were known as the Pentarchy. A final overking was usually selected by the courts of the provincial kings. This king of kings would traditionally rule from the province of Mead and the high kingship of Ireland bears particular significance to the hill of Tara in modern day County Mead, otherwise known as Chewernary or Tara of the Kings. Now, although we have just set out the four basic primary grades of chieftain, it's important to also point out that within these four grades, there were many more grades of varying degrees that were determined by a chieftain's individual degree of sovereignty, their wealth and their personal power. Those who were stronger in these features were stronger in fact. It wasn't a question of dispute if one king had visibly more wealth and power than the others, and the early Irish laws recognised this. So to recap, the most basic type of king or chieftain was called a re and they sat over a tua. These tuaha could join together under one more powerful tua, and the chieftain of this would be called a re tua more. The next grade would be the kings of the provinces, the pentarchy. And finally, we would have the ard re Naharan, the high king of all Ireland. And as we progress through this chain, each of the lower grades owed allegiances and tributes in the form of submission to the higher kings.